Today I'm going to be experimenting. So I've got this piece of acrylic, which I actually bought from an art supply store to use for um, stamping, but I don't really do stamping, but I just knew I could use it in art. I have got some hand sanitizer. I've got a range of different alcohol inks. And a very important blending solution as well. I'm not sure if I'll need it with hand sanitizer, but we'll see. And I have a good supply of, <coughs> excuse me, synthetic paper for alcohol ink, which is a cheaper version of Yupo. Right, so first, um, my, so my paper's A4, and this is not A4, it's square. I'm going to try and just center it to make it more of a feature than cover the whole paper. So let's just apply some um, hand sanitizer. Now this is where I'm supposed to have <laughs> the uh, hand towel ready that I was meant to grab and of course forgot to grab as well. So just spreading that out. Remember, this is all experimental. Now I have an old towel laid down under my work at all times so I can do guilt-free wiping. Okay, so one of my favoriteest alcohol inks to use is Slate. <clears throat> now, if you have um, your shimmers, I have given my shimmers a shake, but um, they settle pretty quickly. And so you need to make sure you give them a good shape before you use them. So I'm sorry my towel is not blank underneath. Let's, let's re remedy that. We will just put, there we go. So you can see the hand sanitizer. Let's see how it interacts with some alcohol inks. So it doesn't really look very different from <clears throat> the way it goes on paper. Maybe a little bit, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to add turquoise. I love turquoise, absolutely love it with slate. Now, I never have anything planned with alcohol inks because <clears throat> unless you are a master, they're pretty difficult to control. It is sheer fun. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh, brass. Brass shimmer. And of course it's settled, so I need to give it a good shake to get the shimmer reflective part of the pigment through the ink otherwise what's the point okay so here we go this is going to be exciting now before i add my ink pearl um, on top. I'm going to just add a little bit of blending solution because we want to mix it up. Over here. I find I use the um, blending solution more than any other color. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to learn how to make it myself because I've heard it's not that difficult. Now, the pearl ink is absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, it just, oh my gosh. It adds this kind of depth to um, to the color. Makes it look almost, how would I say, um, like space or a galaxy piece. Now what I'm going to do now, <laughs> bit scary, is apply my Upo paper or synthetic paper to this. It's very thick. Um, I'm hoping that I will get a few prints out of this. There we go. Oh, and look, because of the excess fluid, you can actually still move it around. Now, I don't really want to mix those colors up too much, so. Um, another thing you can do is, I've just got a plastic spatula palette. Just now the whole point of my art is to play it's playful I want to have fun I just want to not be bound by convention or any kind of rules I live with confusion rules as it is. That was my daughter. She's a noisy person. So, I don't like rules. And when I can completely disregard them in something I do, it's awesome. So here we go. Now this one I'm going to press a little bit harder instead of just touching the surface. Oh, and look at that. Now that looks like a tree. It's, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love it. And of course, I don't have a flat space to rest it on. Because my table is completely covered, so just going to go there. Sorry, I just left the camera for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to add a couple more colours. Why? Oh, because I have them, I guess. This is fun. So adding hand sanitizer. So I've added gold shimmer to this. Adding hand sanitizer kind of gives you more time to work with your inks because they don't dry up so quickly. And they also... Um, you can make essentially what I'm calling prints, by laying the paper on top of your work. Okay, here we go. So this is um, Imperial Red Shimmer. Because there's really no such thing as rules. Now, I must also add, when you're working with alcohol inks, please make sure that your um, space is well ventilated because it's really quite um, pongy. The fumes are really very strong. You might even want to wear a ventilated mask. Um, that really is... I guess, personal choice. 
Um, I don't really like the smell, but I can deal with it. Okay, so we're going to do another one, another pressing. Wowza. That is so cool. <clears throat> in search of flat space in my messy house. And I think I'll get one more print out of this without adding anything. I'm just going to oh, grab my synthetic paper. Now, here is a tip. You can go to Kmart and buy a ream of photographic paper in A4 size. And it is incredibly cheap compared to the cost of the synthetic paper for alcohol inks or even the UPO, which is much dearer. And you can use that and it's the exact same purpose. Oh, and look at that. Don't know if you can see that. So I think that's my brain. <laughs> and there you go. And look, I'm gonna go show you how easy it is to wash this off so that it is usable and reusable over and over again. Voila, that is clean and ready to use again. Oh, I missed a little bit there, but that will wash off very easily. Uh, believe me, I know thousands wouldn't. So there you go. There is a little um, experimental ex um, sharing of alcohol inks on a piece of Perspex using some hand sanitizer to extend the longevity of your alcohol inks so they don't dry off so quickly while you're playing around. Yay, that was fun. Um, I'm probably going to try that several times over and maybe even try and um, do unique um, pieces directly on paper as well. We will see. I don't know how long it takes for hand sanitizer to dry. I'll let you know. Thank you.